Hello everyone, I am making a video of the new barrel I just received. This is a, a Bear Creek Arsenal 20 inch uh, 223 wild chamber AR-15 barrel. It's heavy profile. Just came in today. As you can see it's uh, definitely not going to rust. It's also definitely a heavy profile barrel. This is this is going on my DPMS Oracle, which was my first AR-15. And although the DPMS Oracle is a great man, it's a great starter AR. It's a great intermediate AR, in my opinion. Um, I have no trouble at all keeping my shot groups at one MOA and even a little under at 100 yards. But the problem is, it's a light contour barrel, and as it heats up, your zero moves. I mean, you can kind of predict it, you know, kind of, you can kind of adjust for it, you know, but uh, that's still just not a, an ideal situation. I don't hunt. I, for the most part, shoot from either prone or bench rest position at range, just punching holes in paper and making that neat ting sound when you hit the steel but I like shooting at longer ranges so the uh, light profile 16 inch barrel just uh, just wasn't the right fit for, for that use I've upgraded my Oracle several several different items but uh, not the barrel at least not yet so here's uh, here's the barrel I've decided to give a try economics was the big factor here this barrel was incredibly inexpensive and I hope the range test proves to be uh, not a disappointment because uh, I think I paid maybe 80 bucks including shipping for this uh, 20 inch heavy profile 223 wild chamber barrel. I've never had a 223 wild so I'm not, uh, not real sure how good or bad that may be. You no, know, it's supposed to be good. It's supposed to make the Best use out of both 223 and 556 five, ammo. Quit laying the scene down on that oily wrap, and perhaps I can quit wiping it down. All right, it's uh, first impressions good. The, don't see any chatter marks or swirls or any other machining slip ups. The uh, barrel is stamped with uh, 223 wild. One point, or I'm sorry, one to eight twist in USA. Although it does not have a Bear Creek logo or name anywhere on it, just the uh, USA, the uh, rifling twist rate, and the caliber. I believe this has the standard. I think it's uh, 0 0.750 gas block. which I hope that's the case because I did not buy another gas box. This is rifle length uh, gas tube, so it, it certainly won't use the uh, original carbine length gas tube that came with my Oracle. All right, so everything looks good. Um, I'm going to pause the video here and get my bore scope, so bear with me.